Hey everyone, Doug with Theme Park DNA. Man, I've got uh, a nice unboxing for you today. All right, I've got a Saber Forge unboxing for you today. Oh, I expected that to open like the regular Saber Forge does. So, if you're wondering, how is this a Saber Forge unboxing with the box so short? Well, I ordered a couple of empties and I'm really excited about it. If you've been watching the channel, you know that I've been, uh, I bought several DIY um, build kits. And so I needed some more hilts to install. And I'm really excited about it. What I've got, some faux buttons. So, all right, first up we're gonna have an Eris. E-R-I-S is gonna be the apprentice um, level hilt um, pattern after Kane and Jairus's lightsaber. So this was a $75 empty. And as you can tell, I got it in a weathered finish. And it looks pretty nice. It, for the most part, has a pretty even wear, where it looks like maybe they they put it on a lathe to do some of the, the weathering. But some of the nice looking parts are around the edge here like that it's a little more worn here on the end and I particularly like the wear here on this this large grenade checkering um, it's all kind of uniform to where most of it's around the edges of each of these rectangles but it still looks really really nice nice pommel comes with a cover tag well well if you've been looking at saber forge's website you'll see that that now that's a six dollar upcharge for the cover tag wheel very nice very nice all right next up this is the second empty i bought i'm really excited about this one it's a cyber assassin so i have been excited about this ever since they announced it and I gotta say, this thing does not uh, disappoint. It's longer than I expected it to be. So this only this is a an elite tier hilt, and it comes in only two finishes: the chrome finish and the weathered finish. And the they used to have a black one also, and they kind of did away with that one. And I. I mean, the weathering looks pretty nice on this. It's pretty much just around the edges here. I do like, there is some, definitely some uneven pattern here. And that's, of course, something this angular would wear right here on the edges. Nothing on the end. Still very, this is really not bad. Got a couple of high spots here. It's not quite as uniform as this heiress is oh yeah i got some nice scuff marks down here and they scuffed it up right down here just a little bit not a lot i gotta say this is really really comfortable it's a little long but it's not terrible you've got a stop point here almost like a handguard man i was planning on selling um most of these installs but this one might be a keeper it's just too cool looking too unique oh okay here this is nice so the blade retention just two thumb screws right here that doesn't seem very long enough to actually retain the blade I bet these are here. 
I bet this is a blade retention screw and this one is a LED retention screw. When I get this thing apart, I'll be able to tell better. They weathered the blade plug here, just kind of scuffed it up a little bit. All in all, super impressed. Can't wait to get this thing installed. I'm going to be doing NeoPixel on both of these. Let me know what you think about these hilts in the comments below. If you hadn't subscribed, we really appreciate it. If you hit that subscription button, if you like this content, let us know with a thumbs up. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching.